As you're watching me put this website together in the background, I wanted to take a minute to talk about something that's really important if you're thinking about starting your own blog, business website, or even an online store, and that's WordPress. You've probably seen the name everywhere, and if you've wondered what exactly WordPress is and why so many people use it, this is for you. So, WordPress is basically a tool that helps you build and manage your website, and it's incredibly popular. It actually powers around 40% of all websites on the internet, which is crazy when you think about how many sites that actually is. And the reason it's so popular is pretty simple. It gives you a ton of control over how your website looks, how it works, and what kind of features it has, but without forcing you to know how to code or deal with a bunch of complicated tech stuff. The easiest way to think about WordPress is that it's kind of the engine behind your website. You'll still choose your design, write your content, and decide what pages you want, but WordPress is what actually makes your site work and helps visitors find their way around. It's super flexible, which is why it works for all kinds of sites. Whether you're starting a personal blog, building a site for your business, or even setting up an online store, WordPress can handle all of it. One of the biggest reasons people love WordPress is how customizable it is. You don't need to start from scratch or hire a designer if you don't want to. There are thousands of themes, which are basically pre-made website designs you can apply with a click, and you can tweak them to fit your style. On top of that, there are thousands of plugins, which are little tools that add extra features to your site, like contact forms, photo galleries, even online stores, and you don't need to know any coding to use them. It's all super beginner-friendly. One thing that sometimes confuses people is that there are actually two versions of WordPress, and they're not the same thing. There's WordPress.com, which is kind of an all-in-one service where they handle hosting for you, but you get a lot less flexibility and control. And then there's WordPress.org, which is the version most people use when they want full control over their site. That's the one I always recommend if you're serious about your website, and it's what I'm using in this video. If you do go with WordPress.org, you'll need your own web hosting, and that's where companies like Bluehost come in. They're actually officially recommended by WordPress, which says a lot about how well they work together. Bluehost has been around for over 20 years, they're super beginner-friendly, and they handle millions of WordPress sites, so you know you're in good hands. If you're ready to start your WordPress site, I put a link in the description where you can grab a special Bluehost discount that'll save you over 80% on hosting. You don't even need to enter a code. The discount applies automatically when you click the link, which makes getting started even easier. Of course, Bluehost isn't the only option. SiteGround is another host a lot of people love for its speed, and HostGator has some cheaper plans if you're just looking for the absolute lowest price. But for WordPress beginners, especially if you want something easy and reliable, Bluehost is definitely one of the best choices. Hopefully this clears up what WordPress actually is and why it's such a popular choice. If you want to follow along and see exactly how to build a WordPress site step-by-step, -step, I'll leave a link to my full tutorial in the comments. And don't forget to check out that discount link in the description if you're ready to get started. Thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you in the next one.